I'm Dr. Lisa Hayworth and welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be cooking for four. We'll be making baked cod with quinoa and salad. It's heart healthy and it also follows the guidelines of the American Cancer Society. So let's get started and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. First up is our mango salsa. I like to start it early so that the flavors can marry and get yummy. And this will go on top of our baked cod. So what you'll need is one mango, a quarter of an onion, one clove of garlic, a serrano pepper, a lime, and salt for flavor. So the seed is lengthwise here. So we're gonna cut right next to it. You're just gonna make your lines and make like a tic-tac-toe board. Is we'll make a flower and the mango just peels off so we can put that into our bowl very easily. We're only going to be using a quarter of the onion. Make it really fine so you don't get big chunks of onion in your salsa. So now we're going to mince our garlic and this you want really really fine. Again we don't want big chunks in our salsa. Now our serrano chili. Be careful with your serrano chili because I don't want you to burn your eyes. So wash your hands really well after you handle it. Now the pepper can be really spicy. So depending on how much heat you want in your salsa, it will depend on how much you use. I'm just gonna use a half today. And you'll see inside that there are these seeds in the white um, veins. Those are the hardest parts of the chili. So since I want mine relatively mild, I'm going to just take those out. And again, we're just going to do a really fine chop on it. Now you're just going to squeeze your lime juice into your salsa. And this is our completed dish. Now that our mango salsa has been prepared and our oven's preheated, we're ready to cook our fish. We'll be seasoning with lemon, salt and pepper, and paprika along with fresh rosemary. We'll be cooking this for 15 to 20 minutes, and I love to use the foil because as much as I love to cook, I hate to clean. Now, pick your favorite white fish, but what I like personally is when it's fresh and wild, I think it has the best taste. So now we're going to use lemon juice, and we're going to squeeze the lemon juice onto all the fillets and season it. We take our pepper, and then we're gonna to top that off with some paprika to give it a little bit of color. And then you're just gonna place the sprigs of rosemary whole on each filet. Now it's ready for the oven. Next up is quinoa with mushrooms. So this heirloom quinoa is actually carbohydrate, but it's really high in protein and fiber. And we're gonna cook that in two cups of vegetable stock instead of water to give it more flavor. Then we're going to add these cremini mushrooms along with a shallot and two cloves of garlic and some fresh thyme. So now we're going to pour in one cup of the heirloom quinoa into our saucepan and our two cups of vegetable stock. We're going to bring this to a boil and then have it simmer with the lid on for 15 minutes. I have now diced the shallots and my garlic. I've sliced my mushrooms and I've pulled off the leaves of my thyme. So we're gonna saute our shallots and our garlic in one tablespoon of olive oil. Saute your garlic and shallots for about a minute. And when you start smelling that amazing garlic smell, that's when you wanna throw in your mushrooms and your thyme. And you'll saute them for about 10 to 15 minutes. They'll be done about the same time your quinoa is finished. After 15 minutes of simmering your quinoa in your stock and sauteing your vegetables, you'll mix all of this in your serving bowl. And this is our completed dish. Our easy salad contains romaine lettuce, blueberries, grape tomatoes, and hearts of palm. But the fun part is that we're going to make our own salad dressing, and that's going to include the juice of one orange, one lemon, two ounces of olive oil, and we're going to season it with oregano and salt and pepper. Now we're ready to make our homemade dressing. So I'm going to take my orange and cut it in half, and basically just juice it. And we're going to do the same thing with our lemon. Now we're going to add two ounces of olive oil. Again, you don't need that much oil. Remember those 120 calories. Now we'll just add some salt and pepper. 
and some oregano. Now you can whisk this or shake it. And here's our dressing. And here's our easy salad and our homemade dressing. Here's our completed heart healthy meal. We've got our easy salad, our fish with mango salsa, and our quinoa with mushrooms. I think our guests are here, so thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you enjoy your meal as much as we will.